Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Saggy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. For your key to the week this week, you've got the devil card. And if I'm honest, this kind of feels like a week where you might go overboard with something, right? Whether this is food, sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever it might be. This is, it's going to be an interesting week because of the, some of the stuff that's going on with some of the stuff that's going on with the astrology. So I'm intrigued to see how this is going to play out for you guys on a personal level. Um, with that said, there is some, yes, there's some wonderful stuff happening at the moment up in the sky, but there is some stuff that could create a bit of a I want to say like a bit of a nebulous energy so you might not necessarily be seeing things as clearly as you'd like and you might be overindulging this week right so my advice is enjoy whatever it is that you enjoy right whatever it is uh, we've all got vices we've all got fetishes kinks whatever you want to call them um <laughs> yes i said that <laughs> Um, and listen, it's really funny. I've had this conversation with several people and whenever I say that, people kind of look at me and they're like, Raph, what did you say? Um, listen, that aside, um, whatever you choose to indulge in, just be sure that this isn't something that you take to the point of abuse. And the reason I say this is because this could be something that maybe gets the better of you. So uh, I'm, I'm totally sober uh, and I have said many a times I still drink every so often. Um, but like as for everything else, I experimented plenty with my consciousness as a young man. Uh, not so young anymore, so I don't, you know, partake in certain things. But if you are going to indulge in certain uh, things, mind-altering substances, etc., this week, just be careful because the devil card is always taking it too far. It's excess. And this week you may get either more than you bargained for. I can't remember who else I said this to this week as well. Um, but, you know, even if it's something that you've done a lot of, you may not get the same experience that you're expecting. And so therefore it can quite quickly become, uh, you know, more of a nightmare than, than, uh, than a fantasy, right? Now, all of that aside, uh, the, the, the beauty of the devil card is being able to hold to something no matter what, to stick to something and see it through to completion no matter what happens, all right? And that's actually a very good thing. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know I love you for it. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. If you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button for your actions and options this week. You've got the six of wands. This is beautiful. So the devil card is number 15, one and five gives you six. You've got two sixes here. Two sixes can represent irritability or balance, and I'm going for irritability, but this kind of suggests to me that on the other side of what is challenging or difficult, what is victory? It's overcoming some form of adversary. And so the fact that you've got the six of wands here coupled with the devil card, uh, when is a win not a win? When you have to behave in a way that isn't true to who you are in order to get it, right? So I'm going to say this, this week be very conscious of um, how competitive you are, right? If you're willing to completely trash somebody else to win, is it really a win? And especially for a sign like you, because you're all about integrity. So uh, pay attention to that this week. The other thing is as well, on a more mundane level, this could literally be like thrill of the chase sort of stuff. So maybe you're jumping on a motorbike to go wild and crazy. Um, you know, maybe you're, you know, going out with friends and going wild. Enjoy yourself and it looks like you absolutely will. Just remember that because the key to the week is the devil card, 
everything that you enjoy has the potential to go too far this week, all right? For your communications and conversations, you've got the world card and you've got this with the devil card. Now, when it comes to communities, the place that you live in, the place that you are tied to, this may very well be a week where you are at odds somewhat with your community or with some of the ties that you have to have whether this is at school whether it's at work whether it's in your local community um <clears throat> you may see something or be witness to something this week that you really can't stand and that's fine but you have to find a way to temper your anger and your disappointment um with right action all right and that's not to say you know to get into that debate of who's wrong or right or anything it's just you know, what we're trying to get across can be lost in translation if we say it in the wrong way, right? Uh, as an example, if, you know, oh gosh, what's a good example? What's a, an example would be, um, you know, well, I run that person over because they were, you know, they were harassing this woman in the street. Okay, so <laughs> your, your, your motivation was good, but you chose the nuclear option, right? Uh, you could have called the police, you could have highlighted the issue, like there were so many things that you could have done and you went straight from A to B and decided to add some gasoline to the fire at the same time. Don't choose the nuclear option is what I'm trying to say to you this week. Um, now, when it comes to those of you that are in studies, this could be a great week. It looks like some of you, when you're, if you're at university or college or you're studying some sort of degree program or any form of studies really, it looks like you've been so patient and so hard working for such a long time and it is just about to pay off, all right? Hang on in there, get it done, see it through. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, watch out for the water cooler talk this week, watch out for office politics, watch out for anything where there is a culture of um you know like this cancel culture business all of that there's something about this that looks like it's coming up in your work and i urge you not to get swept up in it for those of you that are business owners entrepreneurs people that work for themselves i mean one way that this might show up for you is um you could see something in your industry that you decide to go up against or stamp out, which, you know, great, more power to you. Just remember that there may be some kickback from it. So how far you want this to go, you know, it's one thing to seed an idea. It's another thing to, you know, just throw a fully grown tree into somebody's front garden. <laughs> Again, we're not choosing the nuclear option. Um, when it comes to your, <laughs> That seems to be a turn of phrase at the moment. Um, when it comes to your, uh, those of you that are retired and no longer working, finding community looks like it's on your, you know, the biggest thing on your list or on your radar of to-dos at this moment in time. For your love and relations, you've got the strength card. So for those of you that are single, there is more than one option this week. In fact, it looks like maybe some of you are exploring polyamory this week. Uh, very possible. Um, and more power to you. You know, if you're gonna be happy in that sphere and it feels good to you, be open to it. It certainly does suggest that maybe a partner um, that you come into contact with or someone that you you know find attractive may already be into that kind of thing and it might take you on a complete sort of uh, Alice in Wonderland kind of journey. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, the message really is listen to your heart this week, all right? Like, what do you need? in the relationship firstly, and more importantly, what are you prepared to give? Like, where are you ready now to take the, to take the guard off of your heart? Like, and yes, even for those of you that are in long-term relationships, this could be a new level of inti intimacy or trust that comes in with a partner because you're opening up on a deeper level. For your money and materials, you have the devil card. Okay, so your devil card is likely have to do, have some, likely to have something to do with your finances, your money and your resources. This could be overspending, it could be overindulging, 
you know, so when it comes to your money, the devil card does suggest that you are, you're a little bit frivolous with money this week, all right? Not a bad thing, we all do it, we all overspend, we all, you know, I want this, I need this, I did it, <laughs> we've all been there. But this week, it has the potential to be, you know, at an 11. Uh, it's the same for overindulging, food, sex, drugs, rock and roll, the whole shebang. It looks like you're having a blast of a time this week. Make no mistakes about that. You're having a really great time. It just looks like that great time is going a little bit too far. And because of what's happening in the sky, I wonder how much of that you're gonna enjoy on the other side of it, all right? Now, when it comes to your uh, home and environment, the devil card, especially because the world card is involved, this may be that your locality or your area gets a little bit weird, all right? Maybe it gets loud, maybe it gets weird, maybe you think, you know what, I think we're just gonna close the curtains and shut off the lights for a couple of days <laughs> and just let everybody get on with it. So your card has jumped out. Your full moon message, so this full moon for you, especially for those of you ascendant Sagittarians to a lesser degree, the sun and the moon, uh, this is happening in your 10th house of career, social standing, social status, how the world sees you. So for some of you, your marital status, single, partnered, married, could be coming to a close, could be changing in some way or your status of your relationship could be being highlighted. Now, that's one way that we can see the 10th house. The other is all to do with your career. How people see you out in the world is being spotlighted. And because this puts a spotlight on your career, it puts a spotlight on the most visible aspect of you, who people see as your public persona, you know, et cetera. Um, this could be changing, because it is a full moon after all, but it could just as easily be solidifying in some way, especially because this full moon is activating Grand Earth Trine energy. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm just weary about locking anything in with this full moon. I don't know why, but there's a part of me that, I'm, you know, I'm not the best astrologer in the world, but I will say that this, while it's a, a good Earth Trine, it's a solid one anyway, it still feels a little bit too volatile for me to, I, I wouldn't want to use it to lock something in for the long term, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That being said, you've got the gate 31 and leadership. So the fact that this is happening in your first, uh, 10th house, the most visible part of you, your career, your social status, in some way, shape or form, this full moon is highlighting you and how you show up in the world. And that may see you being thrust into a position of leadership in some way, shape or form. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.